we give every creator an empowering network. That means it's not just anyone that because we curate you have to apply it factory not because we are very premium it's because we want to uh, give the people who have mutual benefits from and share the experiences and uh, the qualities here we give those people who want to create something found something or uh, learn something and uh, exchange uh, this network and it's not just any network it's a relevant network to what they uh, want to achieve here and we are doing that with uh, um, four campuses, and uh, also we, we provide a space as well, and uh, um, uh, you have to apply into this network so that we can check what you can contribute to this network, and that's what we want to leverage because we understood that uh, if you want to create something, sometimes you hesitate to do it because you fear some lack of competency, and that's what we want to provide you with. And so our product has these two components, the physical space, which is important because we want people to meet. Trusted connections is the key. To build trust, you need to meet in person. So we have those 400 events per year we promote. You can get access to mentors. You can uh, get uh, here keynote speakers, uh, take uh, part in parties, have a good time. And the second component the layer is the network. Currently, we have 5,000 members. Uh, with its four member groups, we have 2,000 freelancers, solopreneurs, we call them individual members. They work on projects, they might work also with startups, for startups, but they're individual members. We have around 150 in-house startups and 40 corporate uh, slash industry partners. And the fourth member groups are partners from the landscape of education, of uh, political uh, landscape, of, of creative hubs and so further. So it's across different industries, different clusters, because we believe that the interdisciplinary approach really creates new perspectives and really is the innovative approach. And there we have uh, super, super uh, advantages here in, in Germany with the four key industries. But to bring those key industries together with other industries, with other thinkings, that's what we believe is an outside in innovation concept, which we want to curate here in our community. 19% of the foundings, of the startup foundings in Berlin are in our house. So there's a lot of success stories. Every day we see them, people who meet here, they found something together, people meet here um, and they grow together their business, they exchange. So uh, just today, for instance, I personally met, I ran into one member and uh, you, you ask, what do you do? So uh, we um, build satellites. They are here in, in the orbit around us. So I didn't know that Berlin had companies sending satellites there. And he said, yeah, Berlin is number one. And from his company on already 24 satellites were in the orbit. So this, this is the success story because he has his company here in factory. And uh, that is what drives at least us to see all these success stories. Because um, before digital economy comes always the culture and creative economy. Because there is that pool of talents that, who want to be here, who are creatives, who are the drivers of innovation, uh, who, who force the tech people to think out of the box. And Berlin is the city that has always been the melting pot for creative people from all around the world to come here, to meet here. They want to be here, get inspired, go back. And it's been a long time where people in the market said, yeah, actually Berlin is the place, is the place. And then especially in the last 10 years when it comes to the tech industry, we saw really um, this like really arising in, in Germany. And there is no other city in Germany from that perspective. I think because of this um, creative history and the focus on the individuals, there were individual ideas and that's why e-commerce, for example, grew up here, right? And uh, uh, why these network activities on an individual level. So probably on the industrial uh, focus, there's uh, the Ruhr area or the, the, the Munich area is, is, is uh, ahead of that. I mean, it's even also, it's the biggest uh, city in Germany. I know. So, I mean, that's also, there are some reasons why then co-working was created here and based on co-working, people met and uh, founded uh, companies and they f didn't found the next IBM, but they found the first uh, e-commerce things. And based on that mindset, people understood they can be confident to found something. And that's the mindset you feel here very often.
we are very curious always what's next and uh, we have a lot of ideas there is uh, a lot of interest from abroad also in factories so we are talking to uh, three countries at the moment about expanding there and seeing how can we help them we want to extend the network not necessarily always open new buildings because there are uh, people they have these buildings already but as we have as one part of our product the network this is what actually is next to grow the network and uh, see where we can put our foot in yeah. they, i think we are at the end of the industrial age and coming into the network age we feel more and more that give every creator an empowering network is relevant to create business right? and that's something what we see uh, that we want to connect with other cities with other industries and uh, from being a, a co-working space in 2012-13 um, uh, to a community here in Berlin we more and more see that you can even develop districts cities regions entire countries because all of them are based on network effects and network connections and uh, that's where all those opportunities come from, as Martin said.